spend your life addicted to smack. Living on the streets, giving head off for crap. <clears throat> Hi everyone, Donut here, and welcome to a gear review. Wait, wait, before you go, I know gear reviews are boring. Well, I don't know, maybe not to you. They're boring to me. That's why I don't do them. Unless it's my buddy Matt trying to see how many porta potties a 50 caliber round will go through, or Grand Thumb's sexy ass running around doing crazy operator shit, then I'm, I'm not interested. I mean, most of the time. My attention span isn't really built for gear reviews. If you watch my streams, you see how I watch YouTube videos. It's click, 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 all right, next video. I've been approached several times by companies, firearms companies, tactical companies, companies selling stupid shit that I don't care about, about doing gear reviews. I can never think of an entertaining way to do them and put them on my channel because it just it usually doesn't align with my content until now. You guys made this gear review. I personally think most gear reviews are boring, but I want to start doing more gear reviews. How could I spice them up? I hope CNG Holsters has a sense of humor. This is Chris Burns. He's a cop. He started CNG out of his garage in 2008 because he couldn't find any holsters that he really liked. He started making his own. Pretty soon word spread that he was making decent holsters, and now he runs a very reputable company in the firearms and law enforcement community. Everything he uses is American made. Everything he sources is sourced from U.S. companies. They make over the waistband holsters, inside the waist band holsters, belts, magazine holders, tourniquet holsters, and even holsters for those little remote door popper things that release canines from their handler's car to eat up someone's ass. What did they send me? I carry a Walter PPQ for everyday carry, so they sent me an inside the waistband holster, an outside the waistband holster, a rifle mag holder, a pistol mag holder, and a belt, which I have been wearing for the past month. I think that these are built for a few different types of guns. So the magazine for my Walter PPQ kind of slides in and out. And there is a retention screw right here. So I just need to get that custom fit before we go to the range and it just falls out. The Slim Mag actually comes with thread lock. So once I get that retention where I want it to be, I can just use the thread lock that comes with it and it'll stay there. Bam. There we go. This is their basic every, oh shit, what is that? This is their basic everyday carry belt. Like I said, I've been wearing it for about a month now. I really, really, really like it. It holds my pants up. It keeps my gun nice and snug when I have it inside my waistband. It doesn't loosen up no matter what I'm doing and it's durable as fuck. It has a simple little buckle with Velcro right here. It's not going anywhere. Once you get it to where you want it to be, it's staying there. The belts come in multiple colors, then they're made with the top of the line material. CNG also makes the super cool tactical belts with molly webbing and cobra buckles for competition slash operating stuff. The red one's blinking. It's a blinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me put that back in my butt. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm at the range at Ballantyne in South... Wait, are we in North Carolina? No, we're in South Carolina still. Yeah, but we haven't passed over the state line yet. This is the range at Ballantyne, but the state line isn't until the liquor store. You're right. Yeah, so I think South Carolina... We're at the range at Ballantyne in South Carolina. I am. I have the CNG stuff on me. I have the outside the waistband holster. I have the pistol slim mag holsters, and I have the AR mag holster. And we're going to be playing around with those today. All the silly stuff you saw before this isn't going to happen here. This is a range. You you need to be serious around loaded firearms. We're going to be using my Walter PPQ, as you all know, and my Seekins Precision Thunder Buddy outside the waistband holster, slim mag pistol mag holder, and the AR holder. All Kydex, all well made, all pretty damn sturdy. And like I said, this is their basic uh, everyday carry EDC belt, but they have the fancy schmancy belts on there too. I like it and it's got good retention on it. It's not going anywhere, but they also said you can put a little oil in there if the retention isn't good. I like it. It's at a good spot. With the outside the waistband holster like they have them, you can see all the holes right here. It's so you can move the uh the belt holders up and down so if you want it higher you want it lower they give you that option you can just do that yourself there might there might be something on my lens i don't have actual lens cloth you know it's probably on there the food from my second channel <laughs> i call the grease popping onto there from all the food i cook It didn't cycle.
You're pretty. Do I look fat in this belt? <laughs> Altogether, very, very nice holsters. I like everything I shot today. CNG, thank you so much for sending me these. And uh, everyone, please have a fantastic day. You go pee. Are you sure? Yeah, all I gotta do is clean the breasts up. Patrick says, do it all in the worst, most basic video editing software you have. Use all the worst transitions, effects, etc. Does it fit in the glove box? Trunk. Between the seats, <laughs> center console, can it be Gucci-fied? What the f*** does that mean? Internet historian says slam poetry, but I think we can combine that with General Sam's idea of do them in a gimp suit. How do you do slam poetry? Holster, Kydex, black as night, willingly accepts your weapon. Light, it is in my hands just like a small child. I don't think I should say that in this, this mask. With all this shit going on, I need to... <laughs> yeah, right? I'm gonna have some ginger fuckhead calling me out. The belt clips on the outside of the waistband models can be adjusted up or down for a custom fit. <laughs> my good buddy Batty says, review my beard, please. Thanks. Hmm. 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 10 out of 10 Ram Ranches. 18 naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch. Big hurt. Thirsty Mayor says one of your criteria should be how effective the item is at smashing watermelons. Doesn't matter what item it is or what its intended purpose is. Watermelons smash them. It works. <laughs> Not even a scratch. Take a shot of hot sauce every minute or so and refer to yourself in the third person. Donut's gonna poop himself. Donut's doctor is gonna say, why do you have stomach ulcers? Donut's gonna say, well, I decided to start a stupid series on YouTube. Donut didn't like that. I should have pre-pooped myself. <laughs> Linus Tech was able to spice up unboxing and tech reviews, could borrow stuff from him. <laughs> Whoops! Review the gear, but only for cat use. <laughs> Do them while juggling pickles. Can't juggle. They look wet. You're gonna shoot off your pickle. <laughs> the look of concentration. Throw them in a pool full of coke. A pool? You think I got that Mr. Beast money? We thought we were gonna have friends in the neighborhood. Not now. Do it like an infomercial. Do you hate carrying your gun around in your hands in public? Tired of accidentally castrating yourself? <laughs> well, now there's CNG holsters. Have wine do them. This is a nice holster. <laughs> Just add some geek. What the f did I just make? Yeah, they're open. I can't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you breathe? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't breathe in this thing.